before any strike is taken, there must be near certainty that no civilians will be killed or injured. The highest standard we can set. The vast majority of those killed in drone strikes, over 98% have not been high value targets. The adoption of signature strikes make indiscriminate killing you know, a, a policy. What they end up with is what I described earlier, the signature strike. And they move back to a greater reliance on these signature strikes. A signature strike is a drone strike that isn't based on the identity of the target. I obtained uh, classified U.S. intelligence reports on drone strikes. What the documents reveal are the way that signature strikes are put together. And these are strikes against people who fit, who fit the signature of what the U.S. government says is a terrorist. Maybe they are walking in and out of the compound with guns, maybe they're getting in trucks and they're moving to the Afghan border. And drone operators seated thousands of miles away from the area affected are looking at video feeds, assessing those video feeds, and based on that, making decisions about whether or not someone who's walking through the community is a suspected terrorist. You conclude on the basis of the behavior that they are a terrorist, and you kill them. In a number of cases that I looked at, uh, the CIA wasn't sure who they were hitting. The agency became convinced that it had gotten so good at watching uh, from above that it could distinguish different groups. It could distinguish whether a terrorist leader was at a certain location. But there is room for a lot of misunderstanding when you're doing something like conducting signature strikes. A drone strike is only as good as the intelligence that is behind the actual strike. Anyone who's worked in intelligence knows that intelligence doesn't quote unquote prove anything. It's not evidence. So drones uh, hit what they aim to hit. But if they're aimed at the wrong people, then civilians are killed. Former uh, U.S. Ambassador Cameron Munter had said that one man's combatant was another man's chump who went to a meeting. When Leon Panetta was director of the CIA, uh, somebody memorably said, uh, if, if Leon sees a few guys doing jumping jacks on the ground, he thinks that's a terrorist training camp. Classified documents suggest U.S. officials don't always know exactly how many or who they're killing. They don't always have precise I uh, ID. The apparent uh, targeting of people whose identity is not known. They may not be as precise as many U.S. officials claim. As soon as those signature strikes begin, we start to see another steep escalation in civilian casualties. So that's what happens when signature strikes go wrong. Large numbers of people die because they don't know who's been killed in most of the drone strikes. 